Hi, <clears throat> hi everybody. Sorry, we're having technical difficulties. All right, so this is a continuation of hooking up the flap sensor to the flap motor, and then saying, you know what? F it. Let's hook the whole thing up to the G3X and get these flaps working. Which I think is a spectacular idea. So, in this video, we are going to temporarily mount up the engine analyzer and the uh, electronic controller for the GE3X system. And we're going to start plugging some stuff in. Now, to do that, I'm also going to need to... Let's see, I need to wire all those up. I'm going to have to create a couple of extra places in the CAN bus. Well... The first iteration of CAN bus. I'm not going to wind up using that one. I mean, it's nice, but like the the original terminals, I didn't do right, and I'm pretty sure I fudged up at least half of those uh, solder sleeves. So, yeah, I mean, all of that's going to get redone. All of that's going to be redone. In fact, where you see me mounting this stuff here today, that's not going to be the final uh, mounting location anyway. I've decided. We'll, we'll talk about it. Okay, so remember, I was working on the shelving units that were going to surround the G3X panels. It was something that I saw from uh, other other vendors of make this, and uh, it's very popular with uh, some builders. You know, they're very happy with it. It's an easy way to mount everything without having to drill too many holes in the sub-panel or superstructure. Uh, it's an easily, you know, it's made to be easily removable, and that's great, and that's exactly what I want. <clears throat> that being said, I decided, you know, maybe that's not going to work, because there's not a lot of room back here, and I started getting wishy-washy about it. So I thought, you know, let's try let's try another way, and that's what we're doing today. So what I'm actually doing that you can't see, or at least you won't be able to see for the next couple seconds until I figure out, oh, wait, you can't see what I'm doing. Uh, I am mounting that box, so there you see it. That is the GAD27, right, that's the Garmin electronic controller. Uh, there are three... Out, there are three big pin outputs to it. Um, one's your basic controller and power and CAN bus uh, and a whole bunch of hookups. There's actually 50 hookups. It's one of those 50 pin monsters I, I, I talked about. Uh, there's uh, another small 15 pin one and that's mostly for larger current stuff. Uh, not full power but things like uh, connection to the flat motors and stuff like that. Or fl I'm sorry, uh, roll servos. And then there's a place where big wires get plugged in, and there's ten of those. That's like flat motor and things like that. That's what uh, that's what we're using here. So here's the idea. The idea is you can see it, we're focused inside the subpanel, right? Garmin displays on the right. I now have the GAD27 here taped up against the subpanel. And the idea is, of course, you know, if, if we like it in this location and it looks like it won't be too much of a pain to route the wiring, then we'll replace the tape with, you know, bolts, washers, and, and nuts. So there's the Garmin engine analyzer going on. So I thought, you know, let's just see if I can mount it next to it. Because So this is popular. A lot of people put both of those over here. Uh, the G3X system, besides the displays, has three boxes if you have the full system that are like that right so and i've talked about this before the engine analyzer the electronic controller and there's another one that looks like the electronic controller but that's the system that uh brings in the uh, nav data from your waz gps nav radio and translated f translates it for uh, human use that's the gad 29 in fact i still need to buy that uh and here i am you can see me actually working on getting that new terminal in the CAN bus. I'm really liking the wiring. I, you know, I've, I've, I don't say it enough. I know it's a pain in the ass and it causes pain, but you know what? Just knowing that I'm doing it is worth the effort. So, uh, yeah, in the next video, a uh, little something, no, it's the same. Uh, see you soon.